हेलो माय डियर व्यूअर्स माय नेम इज डॉक्टर मुरली मनोहर चिरमा मिला वेलकम टू माय प्रोग्राम हेल्थ टिप्स इन दिस प्रोग्राम यू आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट हेल्थ एंड इट्स मेंटेनेंस विथ इजी सिंपल एंड एफोर्डेबल रेमेडीज नॉट ओनली दैट यू विल आल्सो लर्न लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ टिप्स हिंट्स एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स नाउ इट इज द टाइम टू एक्सप्लोर द treasure let us start garden mint nowadays sandwiches form one of the most common recipes amongst all the fast food but no matter what type of sandwich you have in india it is never without the chutney made of the coriander leaves and garden mint it is essential to know that this garden mint also consists of several medicinal uses It is used in cooking to add flavor to the food recipes since ancient times. In India, garden mint is available almost in all the parts of the country. It is grown in various places as per the area of cultivation. Some are grown in woods, others in mountains, river banks, etc. However, all the types consist of similar qualities. Due to the strong smell, garden mint is disliked by the cattle. hence it is grown by the farmers amongst other crop to save it from cattle also it acts as a germicide due to its strong smell the herb of garden mint is an annual herb sometimes surviving for 2 to 3 years the leaves are bright green buff and serrate the inflorescence also has a very strong smell the flowers contain thymol from which menthol peppermint and camphor are received after processing the raw material The oil is available in almost 50% more quantity from the fresh material than that of the dried flowers, but the yield is maximum during the flowering season. The juice is generally extracted by crushing the fresh leaves, which can be taken in the dose of 30 ml. The extract is prepared by processing the juice using a special method. The dose of the extract is 5 to 10 drops and that of the oil is 1 to 2 drops. Medicinal uses body pains the leaves of mint are kept under the bed in order to reduce the body ache during the episodes of high fever hiccups and food poisoning the paste of the leaves is useful in anorexia during fever and food poisoning it is also given in continuous hiccups it also acts as an antidote for various toxins loss of appetite in anorexia fresh juice of the leaves is given in the dose of 30 ml twice daily It also acts as digestive and blood purifier. Female disorders in various gynecological disorders such as amenorrhea, dysmenorrhea, painful menses, and postpartum fever and infections, men can be used in the form of raw juice or paste after consulting the physician. Abdominal pain for stomach ache, men juice and ginger juice should be taken in the dose of 1 teaspoon each along with sugar and salt. wounds and ulcerations fresh juice also acts as a disinfectant and wound healer when applied on wounds and ulcers its effect is similar to that of a coriflavin or gentian violet earache for earache a mixture of fresh juice and honey should be instilled in the affected ear body pains paste should be applied locally for body ache pins and needles oil is used to apply locally in case of numbness of limbs toothache and in herpes scorpion bite for scorpion bite paste of the leaves should be applied locally and juice should be given in a dose of 30 ml along with sugar or honey fever due to infections in fever due to any infection mixture of juice of mint garden tea cumin seeds coriander seeds and jaggery should be taken in the dose of 15 to 20 ml thrice a day so that's it hope you have enjoyed this topic and enlightened in the next program i will meet with another interesting and important topic satam jeeva sarado vardhamanah satam hemantan satam vasantan live your entire life with excellent health and total happiness take care of yourself subham so,